Hey guys, welcome back to the Wub and Dub tutorials. Now we're going to do some tutorials on the Wub Wub. So, I'm going to talk about this little FM bass guy here. Let's hear that guy in context. <laughs> So it's kind of all the melodic content, really, besides all this other junk going on. First things first, this is uh, Citrus right here. This is my triple threat patch, which I like. Um, so I'm going to load up a new a new patch and you know, I'll make a new patch from scratch using kind of the same method I used to use or to make the uh, triple threat ace. So start on... You know, a low note, probably the lowest in your key that you'll go, maybe lower. Um, but generally around the first octave is good. Sometimes the zero octave will work too. Make sure it's a new patch. Okay. Sign operator one, leave that B. Operator two, go to a triangle wave. And all the modulation. And then take operator one, switch to modulation. And then what we want to do with the modulation, we don't want to adjust its envelope, its LFO, its key mod, its velocity mod. We want to adjust how it interacts with the X parameter in the XY matrix. So you do that, which sets, oop, do that, which sets a one-to-one -one ratio. So, oop. There you go. So that is the uh, X here is now adjusting how much of operator two goes into operator one. Now it's almost a growl. To get the full fledged growl, we do, um, we're going to have this kind of function as a partial. So 64, which these are all ratios. So two, four, eight, 16. Each time the ratio doubles, it goes up an octave. So this is up what, four or five octaves. Um, and then this will go into operator one as well. <coughs> Oh, we gotta actually put send some bit into it. So what this is doing, this controls how much of what I choose to feed into it. So if I do that, it's gonna the max x will be more, and if I do that, the max x will be less. So you don't want to put too much because you don't hear it anymore, and it gets kind of ear blistery. So, but that's that is the basics right there. Now I always like to put in a little tone shift type thing, so we'll go into operator 4, we'll take operator 4 and we'll ha have that go into operator 2. And I'm getting a little under... There we go. So we'll take operator 4, put that into 2, there. And go to operator 2, and we want all the modulation going into operator 2, we want to put that in the Y parameter. So this... That's a little much. Let's do the opposite phase too. Still a little much. Cool. So Y is kind of, Y kind of shifts the tone, whereas X is the growl. So on that basis is where is how I make a lot of my FM bases. This is a method that I know Seamless uses. Um, I learned about it from watching his videos, so if this stuff really interests you, uh, be sure to check his stuff out too. Well, that is kind of the basis of doing some FM growls. That's one method, is that you have just a single sign, you have a triangle modulating that, uh, because triangle is kind of the most indicative of human voice. It's got that middle formant. And then operator three is kind of that upper partial. And then operator four, if you so desire, does like a tone shifty thing. So oftentimes the tone shift is where... I find things um, make new bases, as well as using different kind of modulators. You know, maybe I'll use a, a square for the partial, or it'll be 32 instead of 64. It's all just experimentation. But so this guy is just, you know, your sign, your partial. Um, something I like that Citrus does is that you actually have additive synthesis in each of your operators. So this is the upper partial here. This is like the 64. Um, which is really nice, so I can put both of those in one oscillator. This is a tone shift, just three going into two. This is another tone shift, just four going into three going into two. And then five is another tone shift, four going into two. So, 
Fortune 5 is also going into 6, and 6 is kind of doing its own thing uh, down here. 6 is like a sub op oscillator. 4 is another growl. So this is just 4. <coughs> we'll just solo it. <coughs> so that's kind of that sound combined with this. <coughs> so 4, and then layer them in. <coughs> and then add in the sub. That is 6. <coughs> So that's why I call it the triple threat, because it's like two growls and a sub. But yeah, so a lot of this is just experimentation, and you know, it, this looks really complicated, but it's really not. It's still just on the sine, triangle, partial, and then tone shifts. And then I just have two different growls, and one of those things that's making the growls is being sent out by itself to be kind of a sub bass sound as well. But yeah, thanks for watching. Rate, comment, subscribe. Um, this has been the Wub and Dub Tutorials. See you later.